We're clear. Guys, I have a problem. My house has been invaded by ladybug aliens, and I need your help to get out of there. I don't know how they came. I don't know where they came from. Probably from the windows. Maybe from the swoop here. I have no idea. All I know is that they're here. Whew. I need to get out of here. I have a plan, however. I'm gonna try to disguise myself as a ladybug. <gasps> disguise myself as a ladybug. Okay. Lead on, lead on, lead on. But I need your help, guys. I'm gonna try to create a ladybug out of construction paper because this is all I have. So, for this craft, we will need some glue, some scissors. Always make sure to be careful when using scissors. Some red construction paper and black construction paper. Now, I've had a little bit of time here and there to start constructing my plan. So, I've already cut a circular piece of construction paper as well as a head shape made out of black construction paper and as you can see I have used a marker to make eyes, nose, and a cute little smile. I will also need some sheets, very small, you know, lines of paper and some shapes because as you know ladybugs have circles, but I also cut out triangles and rectangles out of black construction paper. All right, I don't have much time, so I will need to be quick. So, to do this craft, you will need to take your little lines of paper and glue them onto the round piece of paper that you have. And to help you with that, you will just bend the ends of each line of paper so that you can glue them using your glue to the circle like so so it fits nicely okay here we go maybe a little, a little fast forward time here thanks Lord. Make sure you hold it down while the glue is getting dry. So ultimately, it should look sort of like that, see? So you would take your other little lines of paper and do the same and just pile them on top of each other. Let me show you. I hear them coming. I don't have much time, guys. So, so far, we're looking like this. Make sure you actually wait until the glue sets or the glue dries before you start using your ladybug. So, this is what we have. I will keep going with the thinner or the different little pieces of paper I have until it makes a nice dome-like shape. On the edge like that, and you just glue it to what you have. Now, guys, once you have your little dome like that, that looks like the body of a ladybug, we just have a few more steps. First, it is to glue on the little face that we have with our cute little smile and eyes and nose to make sure, you know, it's an actual lead, but glue that to the front of the dome that we have, the body. All right, which should look like that. And then finally, you can take your little shapes and glue them everywhere on the ladybug to replicate the little dots that they have on their bodies.
Look at that. I have my own little ladybug, so I will try to disguise myself as a ladybug and get out of here. Now guys, remember, it's very important that since we're doing ladybugs and ladybugs are part of nature, we need to always be thinking about protecting the environment, especially because we're using a lot of different papers. So you see, have black construction paper and red construction paper. When you cut them out, when you cut pieces of paper out of it, there's a lot of scrap paper that you will have. Now you can always reuse that scrap paper to do some drawings or do some other crafts that we have. But when you're done with it, always make sure to recycle and think of the environment. Now uh, guys, I have to, oh no, guys, they're here. Whew. All right, guys, quick little update. It worked. Now I have to go, but make sure you stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time.